Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We have a weekly makeup basket coming up and we're going to get started, okay? We're just going to get right into it. We were going to start with primers. Here's a primer that I've been interested in trying out, the Makeup Forever Step 1 in uh, smoothing. And we're also going to be working with the Smashbox Oil Primer. We'll see what we think of that. Okay, un momento, bebe. Um, next, we also have our eyeshadow primer. I'm going to be work using the NARS. I'm going to try to finish this guy up because look, when you open it, it looks kind of like nothing's in there. But when I work the wand around, there's stuff in there. So I'm going to try to finish this guy up. Um, concealers, I'm going to be using up, uh, tr testing out this Tarte Concealer in Medium. And I also have in my little bag here, these, the Tarte cre Creamy, what is this? Creamy concealer, you know, radiant cream is something like that. It's called, and I have ginger and custard. I really ginger is really my color, and I use custard sometimes for brightening. But to be honest, I really want to test out that tart one, and I really want to play with this one. I know I love the NARS one already, to be honest, and um, I actually I know I love this one too already because I wore it the last couple of days and I was like impressed. So today I have on the tart. I like it too. So maybe that would be something in the future, you know what I mean? But right now, I really like these. Okay, uh, foundation, we're going to be using this uh, Too Faced Born This Way. And I have light beige. It's a little bit light. Please tell me if I look off of my color because I am using this because I want to finish it up, you know? I don't. Um, I do have the natural beige. I think that's what the color is. But this is light beige. It's a little bit light. I'm bronzing it up. Um, but another thing I'm going to reach for is the Smashbox Hammer Ready BB Cream, and it has SPF in it, and I have the color Light Medium. Uh, let's see. We're going to be setting my face with two different things. Okay, well, a couple of different things. Um, for my um, my concealer, what I've usually been setting my face with is... <laughs> okay, what should we talk about first? I have like eight things to tell you guys. Was with this guy. This Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. Oh, look. So we're going to tell you this real quick. Look, I depotted three things yesterday, as a matter of fact. Yep, this one, packaging. I don't like the glitter. It falls all over. It gets on my face. Can't handle it. This guy, well, I was already doing it, so that's why I threw him in there. I know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll regret it, but I'm happy with it now. So, probably not going to regret it. I know, guys. I depotted him. You're going to see it in a second. I was able to figure out some way to keep their names attached. It's not the perfect depotting, but are we ready? Um, we have this Makeup Forever Metal Magnetized Pan. And, well, let's see. I don't have that plastic thing. You know, sometimes they have that didn't, didn't make it through depotting. But here we go. Yep, so this is that Too Faced, um, so these are the blushes I'll be using this next couple of weeks, and the Tarte brushes, and here's the Cocoa Powder Contour Kit. So I like to set my eyes with this one, the Light Cocoa, and I like to contour contour with the Medium Cocoa, and I'm liking to bronze with the Dark Cocoa. Um, this one was giving me problems when I was taking it out of the pan so it looks a little funny because I did put alcohol. It wasn't cracked, really, or nothing, but I did try it. I don't want to be surprised in a week or so with it in here. So it looks funny, but it worked okay today. So the wetting it didn't, like, ruin it or nothing, you know? Um, and this is a Kevin Aquan in Desert Nights. It's just a little sample that I have. So that one stuck on there real good. So that's that. So, yeah, I've been setting my concealer with that... Um, cocoa light cocoa and I've been setting the rest of my face with this Cody air spun in honey beige and it's been working okay I know I've been at getting questioned like what do I really think of it and oh, the smell I always say like oh it reminds me of my grandma I miss my grandma I love my grandma this does remind me of her so much and I love it and the smell it reminds me of her, and after using it now, like just now, I got the, it's like, it's choking, like the smell. So if you can handle that, it's good stuff. If you can handle the, because I you know sometimes I'm like, okay, ready? I hold my breath, kind of, and I put it on because it's, it's, it's crazy. She, they want my brushes, but they're not going to have my brushes. Okay, 
So um, another little thing I've been experimenting with is the hourglass and it's in diffused. Oh, you guys. You guys. Let me tell you. I was hesitant. Very hesitant for this guy. And it was so amazing. The day I got it, I just have like sometimes my foundation sets into there. And this wrinkle here. And I dabbed my finger in it and I pressed it and I was like it like diffused the wrinkle and the foundation that was set into there. It was just crazy that it diffused it like that. Like, like just wow. Wow, wow. I'm getting really gl glowing looking like. Do you see how wet I'm looking? And I did. I put this all over the face as really lightly. So I'm thinking that's what's a little bit different with my face today. I don't know. I've been taking pictures of my makeup like after and then like later on hours before and then like at the end of the night I've really been like testing stuff out um to, to set all the face first of all max fix plus and this one's in rose I love this stuff guys I wish max mac I wish mac was cruelty free I don't have a lot of mac product products but I do the ones I do I wish they were um what cruelty free but, um, yeah, so until then, I'm going to live and enjoy my MAC products, but I won't repurchase, I don't think. But I do, or I have been using this Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to set it all. I really do feel that setting your makeup does make a difference. Um, eyeliners, okay, I talked about this a while ago that I have so much in here, like, just so much. And I don't really tell you guys usually what that I'm... Like everything that I have in here because I really don't reach for everything. I just let, leave it there. You know what I mean? So I'm going to tell you guys today about something that I like that I have in here. You know what I mean? So this is the what I got from BoxyCharms, a Revealed Smoky Palette. And I have that on my eyeballs today. Eyelids. I like it. And I've been enjoying it. I was really impressed. Really impressed to be honest. Like, wow. It, it is as good as Miss Jen says it is. Um, what's next? Oh, highlight. Highlight is my little palette again. Yup, yup. And I have news on it. This is opal. That's kind of sitting on top of it. It's, it literally is just sitting on top of it. It was um, magnetized just yesterday before I depotted. But I put this pop of light from that cocoa contour palette I put it in here I have that on today I'm not happy because I just have a lot of glitter everywhere but it smells good <laughs> okay so I mean I have all these to play with okay this was the one um, this is Ofra Bliss this is Becca Opal and these two are also Ofra and they're from the collaboration with um, Dupe That and I think it's You Glow Girl and You Do You I think or it could be the other way around but yeah see look here's literally a piece of opal do you see that it's so sad but I have to be really careful literally I put this and here's my highlighter brush that I've been using and I put it in my shelf with my with my setting sprays where I do my makeup and they pretty much don't move from there um, with a hair on it my dog's hair because she just tried to eat it a while ago been using my Ricky's NYC sponge um, for for concealer, I've been using my fingers and the sponge, foundation for the sponge, setting the eye, under eye area. I've been using this little paddle brush from Crown Brushes. Crown Brushes this week, guys. Crown Brushes. We're putting them through the test. So, this is a Crown Brush Dome Powder Brush. I've been using it with the Cody Airspun a little bit all over. And then, like today, I did a top coat of a finishing spray. Top coat, yeah. A light very light dusting of finishing powder. <laughs> the hourglass diffused all over a little bit. It was okay. Or it looks okay. What do you think? A little glowy? This was my, um, this will be my bronzing brush for the next couple, week or so. The Duo Fiber Foundation Brush. I know. You can use brushes for whatever you want. But this is what I've been using for bronzer. I like it. Contour. Like literally contour, contour. I just literally contour it right there. I don't like do. I will like at the end kind of diffuse it, but really I apply the product there and then diffuse. 
you want you might want to catch me on Periscope if you want to see me do my makeup because sometimes I do get ready on there. Um, this will be the the contour. This I don't understand. I want to keep telling you guys because it says contour blush. No comments. She's going to eat a toy. She can't have that. Contour blush. It's a brush. I don't know because this is also chisel blush. Blush, 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 blush. Can you read it? Can you read it? Blush. I hope you can read it. Maybe it's blurry. Sorry, guys. But this is actually what I'm using for my actual blush, blush. Blush, blush. Um, highlight, I showed you. Eye brushes. And see, look, like seriously, I just have this other little area of blush brushes that I'm not I'm even touching them right now. And they're not all dirty. I pulled them out last last makeup basket on my teddy bear brushes. And I haven't even really reached for them all. Like, they're all clean. So they're just there, okay? We're really working on this. Look at this. Do you know what that is? This is the Harry Potter Butter Beer Cup from Universal Studios. Yes, love it. I love my Harry Potter cup. So, that's what we're really working with this month or this week. Um, uh, eyeliners. Okay, well, let me maybe you want to see these. These are what I what I use today, especially. You can see them all. And then I have this little hair donut in here, so we could take the colors off if I wanna. You get it. It's like a Veramona. Maybe I will invest in the real Veramona switch color switch. I have not yet. And then there's these two. This I've been even, I used it for eyebrows even. This is a angle liner brush. Could use it for either or. But um, this is the Anastasia Brow Brush, number seven. So you could use either one, I mean, for brows. I also have in here for brows, we didn't talk about brows, did we, yet? Um, it's like this, but it was a Sigma brush. Where are you? It was a Sigma brow, angled brow brush. I had it in here yesterday because I was, here you are, Sigma angled brow. It's E75. Okay. Let me show you that real quick compared to... This is the Anastasia, okay? This is really cool for, like, drawing real hairs. But look how, like, it's very dense, like, stiff compared to this Sigma angled brow brush, which is very, like, not stiff. I don't know. They both do really good brows. I'm not saying one is better than the other. It's just preference. Do you see that? How one... I'm putting the same amount of pressure, but look how the Sigma brush bends, like, I know. We're not talking about brushes, Kaylee. We're talking about weekly makeup basket. That's for future videos, but I know. A few eyeliners. I know. She wants to get out of the bath. I've been liking this, um, the balm, Mr. Rye and Jack, and I'm going to stick to, I hear you, bebe. Ay, boy, un momentito. Oh, 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 my purple one. Honest Beauty in purple. That's it, guys. I'm going to go. It's really hot. She wants to get out. But I wanted to share this with you. Oh, wait, Pilar. I have one more thing to show them. Here's a gloss I can play with. Uh, I'm not a big gloss fan. That one, I'm not anyways. But this one, I like. This is what I have on today. On top of ColourPop Solo. It's a little bit it is drawing. I know they're drawing, but I make it work. Okay, that's what I do. I make it work. Eyeliner, Ico, the big fat Ico. Oh, my feet are falling asleep. This Ico black. Okay, guys, we'll see you later. Do you want to see brows? You know what I'm using for brows? You guys know. You know. Look at my last video. I'm using the Honest. Oh, I know, baby. See, she's not really, like, she's not injured or anything, guys. I don't want you to tell me, like, oh, go tend to your daughter. This is everything. You're cooking, you're cleaning, ironing, getting ready, taking a shit, peeing, pooping, walking the dogs. The kids always want you, like, your attention. And that's okay, but I just want you to know she's okay. I want to just finish this because I have, like, two more minutes, okay? <laughs> it's the Honest Beauty, and this is a Rich Burnett. And I'm topping it with my Tarte Brow Powder in black brown with Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And she's going to be unhappy. Oh, this is something I need to try, guys. Kula. It's tinted SPF. I'm putting it there. 
and it's these Tati things. This is what I wanted to tell you. I used one like last week. I used one like the week before. Not every day. It's just that I have reached for them and I want to share them with you. You may see them in pictures. That's what's on my eyes. That's it, guys. I'm not trying to be rude. I just like, I hope you guys don't judge, you know? I mean, everybody's going to judge anyways. I need to try this Starlux. Okay? This is Kaylee Try Starlux. And a good black pencil. I'm going to stick with this Molly. Okay? Molly. Um, Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner for my waterline. And the brown, the Jacks. Okay? That's what we're sticking with. We're not, we're not going to touch this guy. What is this guy? Yes, guys. Yes. Ask me about this if you don't know what that is. Okay, we're going now. Talk to you guys later. Love you, love you. Oh, she wants to come talk to you guys, don't you? That's what she really wants. She wants to be a part of this. Is that what you want, Pilar? Oh, oh. okay. I'm going to let you guys go, and she's going to come make a video for you. How about that, Pilar? Is that a good deal? See? You guys see? She's not really unhappy. She's just... Okay, we're going to do that, okay? We're going to close up shop here. Oh, another thing I need to try before I forget is this Tristique. It's a blush. Bora Bora Coral. I'm going to put it here so I can maybe see it better because, see, I don't see my things in here. I throw things in here that I need to try. I've been using the Blink Mascara. Reviews up is coming up. I know I can sit here and tell you about it, but I'm not going to because then that's... We're going to stick, stay on topic. That is weekly makeup basket. Oh, but with that, I have primers. Let me show you the primers I'm working with. Three different eye primers. And it is the Tarte Opening Act, the Estee Lauder Little Black Primer, and the Benefit Their Real Primer. To be honest, I'm reaching for this one the most. So I have to mentally take a note to tell me to reach for the other ones to test it. To test it, really. Got to put the science to the, do the work. So we're going to see you guys later. I'll let you guys know how everything's working out or not. See you on Periscope, Facebook, Snapchat, all that good stuff, you guys. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss our future videos. And um, give us a thumbs up. Tell us a, and give me some, tell me what you're wearing this week. Thanks. Take care. Have a good day.